As you guys can see, we are playing Pal World inside the Box 64 Droid Windows Emulator. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. Today, in this video, we'll be trying out one of the best Windows emulators for Android devices. I am talking about the OG Box 64 Droid Windows Emulator. Now, if you guys don't know what's Box 64 Droid, it is basically the most impressive Windows emulator for Android project. It uses Box 64, which is used in all the other emulators like WinLater, Mobox, etc. And it is also very up to date compared to the other emulators which I mentioned. Now, let's start off by talking about the minimum requirements you'll be able to see you need at least adreno 610 gpu or above and if your device is not supported you can use virgil android version 12 or above is needed for non-rooted devices whereas android version 10 or above for rooted also need a 64-bit android device and around 4.2 gb of free space now we'll be setting it up i'll be showing you guys the best settings gameplay and much more so before starting if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notifications because i'll be doing a massive giveaway once we reach 85,000 subscribers so make sure to hit that like button to start setting a box 64 droid on your android devices you can check its official github page as this is an open source windows emulator for android where the developer has provided a script to start setting up box 64 droid so we'll just go ahead and copy this script and you will need to add termux and termux x11 on your android devices because its setup is similar to mobox simulator once you have added termux and termux x11 just go ahead and open termux afterwards paste the command required to set up box 64 droid on your android devices now there are multiple box 64 droid versions inside this setup i'll show you guys the best versions including best settings so let's wait until this process is completed once that has been done it will tell you hello this is box 64 droid setup please select the version which you want to use so there is native version there is also non-root version rooted version virgil support has been provided especially for mali gpu android devices but for today's video we'll be going with actual version not the irrelevant versions but if you have a rooted device or a mali gpu android device you'll need to go with either third option or fourth option but let's go with the first option afterwards it will start setting it up just go ahead and tap on the allow button and this requires a good amount of patience so just wait for few minutes until the setup is completed and there we go guys after waiting for four to five minutes everything has been finished setting up to start box 64 droid we'll need to use the box 64 droid dash dash start command so let's just go ahead and type it after typing it we'll just go ahead and tap on the enter button and there we go box 64 droid is about to start now it will start creating a wine prefix which is very necessary and this step will also take good amount of time so just be patient and there we go guys the setup is completed now it will give you some options such as selecting wine versions recreating wine prefix changing wine versions checking for updates updating box 64 etc so let's tap on the third option to change wine version and you will be able to see there are a lot of wine wow 64 versions which are present and if you guys didn't know box 64 droid was one of the first windows emulators for android to get gta 5 working which was pretty amazing we also have wine 9 9.13 builds which is not even present in win later horizon emulator mobox is completely dead so we'll just go ahead and use the latest wine version so the compatibility is pretty amazing and it is kept up to date regularly so you guys can definitely use this windows emulator for any kind of use anyways once that has been done we'll just go ahead and type one to start wine afterwards it will ask you to choose resolution so we can go for 800 by 600 which is the first option and then tap on enter afterwards it will automatically open the termux x11 app now you'll need to again wait for a few seconds until it is done setting up as you guys can see it will start adding wine mono package so we'll just go ahead and tap on this option and there we go guys the setup is complete and our windows emulator is about to start now that the emulator has successfully started if you just go ahead and open the start option you'll be able to see lot of customizations for dxvk dxvk asynchronous graphic test which are present wine d3d input bridge everything has been provided in this emulator which makes it very easy to use for today's video we'll be using the dxvk asynchronous 1.10.3 so you just need to tap on it and afterwards wait until it is done setting up afterwards let's tap on the start option once again and in the tweak section you will be able to see direct text runtime is also provided which is very useful make sure to add direct text runtime Afterwards, let's go back to the tweaks option and make sure to also set up open AL for proper audio output. So we'll just go ahead and tap on the OK button and there we go, open AL is done setting up. Afterwards, you just need to go ahead and scroll down, make sure to tap on the start input bridge profile option and it will successfully start the input bridge controls as you will be able to see. The next step is to go to start once again, afterwards go to programs and here make sure to go to wine configuration option and make sure that the windows version is set as windows 10. Once that has been done, now we are finished setting up Box64 Droid on our Android devices. 
The final steps are going to be pretty simple. Just go ahead and open any game that you want to try out inside this emulator. And if this video reaches 150 likes, I'll test out the Virgil or Mali GPU supported Box 64 Droid. In my next upcoming videos, I'll be testing out GTA 5 inside this emulator. But for today's video, we'll be going with Pal World. And you'll be also able to see the DXVK FPS bar is also provided inside this emulator once the game starts, which is pretty amazing. And we also have GPU usage as well as FPS bar at the top left corner. So there we go guys, our game has successfully started. So we'll just go ahead and tap on start a new game, create a new world. And everything is super far from the way I am noticing things. Like I remember testing out PAL world on other Windows emulators and it just used to take a lot of time. I don't find that issue inside of the POC64 Droid emulator. Anyways, we'll just go ahead and tap on the enter button and there we go. We are all ready to start a brand new game Now I'm pretty curious about the FPS which we can get because if pal world is working I'm pretty sure that games like GTA 5 will also be working and I think the FPS might be better than Mobox Simulator because Mobox hasn't been updated since a very long time Our game is starting successfully and one thing which I'm noticing during this cutscene It is very confusing. I'm getting around 11 to 12 FPS at the top left corner Whereas in many other Windows emulators that I have tried like win later, I used to get like 30 FPS at least during the cutscene but once the game starts I get like 3 to 5 FPS in other emulators and I think same is the case with this emulator. Horizon emulator gives me like the most FPS but also it has an heating issue. Whereas inside this emulator my device hasn't even gotten warm to be completely honest guys. There is no signs of heating up which is really good thing. But for low-end Android devices, I'll be making a dedicated testing video pretty soon. So be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.